Welcome to Pay Today, how to create a automation. First thing you want to do, open up the CRM on the left sidebar here and go down to your automations tab there. Click on that. And then we're going to go ahead and click create new automation uh, up here on the top right. And let's give it a, uh, an automation. So with this automation, the first one we're going to do is we're going to create um, when a contact, a uh, new contact is created, we're going to create a set of actions for our team member to accomplish uh, over a set period of time and uh, by creating contact actions with this automation. So first thing we'll do is just call it new new contact um, um, So we're going to call it new contact task actions for Rikazi. Now it sounds weird, but it's we're creating just so that we can be clear with what we're doing. We're trying to we're going to assign these to Rikazi to complete, and so um, we'll just call it that for now. Okay. The first thing we want to do is we're going to set a trigger. All automations will begin with a trigger, and that can be the new contact, which is what we're going to do in this one. Um, but we also have a number of other ones, which could be a, a new contact that comes in from a Facebook lead, uh, from an ad or a submission on a Facebook form, or if they pr product, uh, purchase a product from um, our website, or if we add a tag manually or via another automation. Uh, these, All these things can be triggers. And as time goes on, there'll be more triggers and more um, actions that we can use as these automations develop further. So for now, we'll just go ahead and click New Contact. This will be our trigger. New Contact created is fine. So we know this is our trigger. And what I'll actually do is I'm going to name it Trigger just so that you guys can see it and have a little better understanding. Okay, now that we've got our trigger, what we're going to do now is we're going to add actions. So over here on the top right, we'll click Action, and then go into Contact Action. And these are like content, like tasks that need to be done specific to this contact. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And I'm going to title it um, Send Welcome Email for Kazi. Copy. And then I'm also going to assign that as the action so that he knows, our team member will know, okay, here's what you got to do um, for this action. He'll, he'll be able to see it, and then we're going to assign it to him. And then we're going to wait plus one day, just like that format, plus one and then day. And then we'll go ahead and save that. And then we're going to go ahead and click on action again, and we'll go ahead and create another contact action, which will be send offer, discount offer email, Rikazi. Sign it to him, and we're going to wait plus... Seven days. We'll save step. I think it's days. I need to actually fix that one here. So this should be days. Wait seven days. So this is setting the time that will be due for Rikazi to complete this. So in one day on his when he signed when he logs in, he'll be able to see, okay. This is due in one day from now when this new contact was created. This will be due seven days from the date that this contact had been created, and so forth. And so we'll just do one more. Send booking link. Copy. 
Ozzy, and we'll just copy and paste that in and assign it to him. And we're going to do plus 10 days. Save that. Okay, so now we have an automation that's going to assign, anytime a new contact is created, it's going to assign these three actions to Rikazi with the dates that we had set. One, seven, and ten days. Now, all we have to do now is if we turn this on, this will be active. So the next contact that comes in, this, this will be assigned. Um, and so that's a basic... Uh, just assigning a, stuff to a team member every time a new contact is created.